welcome to Mystery Mike. Thank y'all for tuning in on this beautiful day. The weather here in Central Maryland for the last, oh God, six weeks has just been beautiful. It's a little dry, but hey, last year was muddy. So I ain't complaining about nothing. I'm just enjoying this beautiful weather and hopefully it's like that on Thursday. Because Thursday is opening day of muzzle loader season. Make that noise. 
noise because you wouldn't want the deer to hear it. And then you would pour it in the top of the muzzle loader. So that way it would be a speed load and all ready to go and be put into the muzzle loader. This here is neat. This is a deer bone. Okay, that's a that's a deer bone there. And my brother made this up as a uh, also. And here's another part of the bone that he made. You can see that. And that's all hollowed out. So he took his part here and he plugged that up like that. So it's really neat. Just probably something that they would done years ago when muzzle loaders first came out. It's probably something that the mountain men would have used years ago when muzzle loaders first came out. So anyway, what this is for. Okay, the top of this here is probably a hundred grains of black powder. So you would take your flask and you would pour it up to the top. That'd be a hundred grains of black powder. Okay, then you would take your muzzle loader would pour it in there and measure it out and then you would tap the base of your black powder gun to get all the powder down at the bottom and then you would proceed to put in your uh, your bullet but uh i thought that's really neat how my brother made that up that's really neat that's making use of all the deer using everything even the best so i'll show you this again this is a part of bone all cleaned out and this is another part of bone and you can take that out and it fits tight and he uh, rounded that all off so it fits just like a cork and then you would put that in the bottom like that so that seals that up and then and then you would have your flask my brother measured this out to where the top of this would be. This ain't a speed loader. This is just something that you can measure your black powder out before you put it into your burl. So you take your flask, pour it in there. Up to the top would be 100 grams. And then you would pour it into the burl. Shake your burl and proceed. I have other black powder stuff that I can show you and I'll do at it bring up like my uh, black powder bag with uh, with the little pellets that you know that the little the little the little black powder pellets that I think each one's like 50 and you put that into your barrel and tap it and then you put your bullet in and I'll show you my bullet and my black powder bag and so on and so on I'll go ahead and show you that at a later date once again, I'll just show you just a PVC pipe about four and a half inches. Cork on the bottom. Cork on the top. And then you would take your flask and pour it in. And this would be a speed load. This would already have, I would have this made up with some other ones like this and I would put that into my black powder bag this here is just this ain't a speed loader this is just like when I'm target shooting or when I'm loading up the first time take my flask pour the black powder in there tap it a little just up to the top there you that would be your 100 grains and you want to be as accurate as possible when you pour your black powder so to keep that consistency up of even as possible so that would make you more accurate shooting at targets and then you would pour out the barrel tap the barrel put the bull one in and so on and so on i don't know if you can see i have my mystery mic shirt on today Alrighty, well i hope everybody's been out there doing hunting and fishing and i hope everybody gets to get out there and do the uh, black powder hunting coming up and I hope that you're all having the beautiful weather that we're having here in
in Central Maryland. I heard the, the Dakotas, uh, I heard that uh, North Dakota <laughs> really got some rough weather here before they even got in, before they even got to harvest all their corn and soybean, and I heard they got hit pretty hard. So I hope those guys can, can get their fields in, and, and God bless all their farming, and hopefully they can get it all in and in safe. See.